You said there's help on the way, right? Si, sí, carissima. But you are the one who needs help more than that poor soul. No, no, you don't understand. This is the man I love. This is the father of my child. I, I can't just let him die like mm -hmm. this. You must be careful. Evil is very near, and I'm afraid it's coming for you. Do you hear me, Whitney? Leave him there and exit the catacombs now. I have to help Chad. I can't let him die. You must let him perish. That is my will. No, I won't do it. Then you will be severely punished. Your self-flagellation back at the convent will be nothing compared to the pain that I have in store for you. Careful, Caristi, but you are in grave danger. Sister, listen, I appreciate your concern, but it's not me who needs help right now. Chad and that other man over there could die if I don't get him out of here. Now, I just pray it's not too late. Let him die. I can't do that. I love him. That is precisely the reason why he must never come out of the catacombs alive. As long as your half-brother lives, you will be lured by temptation and mortal sin. Leave him now and come back to me so that you can continue with the mission that I have set before you. Unless, of course, your sinful desires are more important than the countless souls that I have asked you to help me save. Souls who are worthy of being saved, unlike Chad's. Is anyone here? Same thing. Listen, someone's coming. Oh, maybe they can help me with the other person. Meddling fools. Maybe those people can help me with Chad, too. Look, sister, can you... Where did she go? I don't care what the monk says. I'm not gonna let you die. so afraid I was too late. I thought you were dead down there. Whitney? Is that you, Whitney? Um, no. No, it's not. Whitney. You look so different. It's you. I could tell by your voice. doing here came to find you bring you home Whitney, what are you doing in Rome anyway no one at the convent had any answers and God, it was like you just disappeared into thin air get out of there now Whitney let the others save him it'll only lead you into further temptation leave him now do you hear me I, uh, I can't be here. Um, look, I, I, I have to go, okay? Oh, my now? Whitney, I just found you. What's going on here? Tell me what's wrong. I can't. I'm sorry. I have to go, please. No, I'm not going to let you go until you tell me what's going on. Something's wrong, Whitney. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, there are people here that are going to take care of you, okay? They're going to get you to a doctor, and you'll be fine, okay? Whitney, will you dig me out just to abandon me? Come on, Whitney, this isn't like you. 
Now, Whitney, do as I say. Chad, just please don't hate me and tell Miles I love him. Oh, but Whitney. It is about time you decided to obey me. I couldn't leave Chad to die buried under all that rubble, Lord. Nothing and no one must come before your mission. It's just that Chad came to Rome to look for me. He heard my screams, jumped in the catacomb to save my life. He risked his life to save mine. That is exactly the problem, isn't it? Did you not agree to follow my orders so you could rid yourself of your sinful feelings for your half-brother? Yes, and I am. I've done everything you've asked me to do. You either want to atone for your grievous sin of incest, or you don't. But I couldn't just leave Chad there to die. And you know, a real man of God wouldn't want an innocent man to die either. The father of your bastard child is far from innocent. He would lead you into temptation at any turn. He's no better than Lucifer himself. That is not true. Chad is a good and decent man. I have misjudged you, Whitney. I thought you had learned your lesson. I was a fool. I was a fool for having chosen you from all the people in the world to help me in this important mission. A mission which is vital to the survival of my church and indeed to the redemption of your immortal soul. You didn't choose the wrong person. I want to help you. I want to atone for my sins. Then you must prove it. I will. I will. Anything you ask. I have already asked Whitney. This man who would cause you to commit such a heinous sin. He must die. It is the only way. Don't look so shocked. Surely you must realize that you can't hold on to this sordid fantasy for Chad. The best thing for everyone is his demise. But he's the father of my child, Lord, please. Your child will be well cared for by your mother. Admit it, Whitney. You and Chad cannot exist together on this planet at the same time without feeling drawn toward one another. Well, yes. And you, you will be led forever into temptation and damnable sin. The decision is yours. If you choose to offend the church and spit on God's commandments. No, no, that is not what I want. If you choose this path, you will forfeit his forgiveness and his love, and your soul will burn in eternal hell. On the other hand, you can atone for your sins by doing God's will. That's what I want. That's, that's what I've always wanted. Please. Then stop fighting it, Brittany. Accept that you and Chad cannot both go on living. Uh, I understand. Now I understand. That's better. I see that you now know what must be done. But it's not Chad who must die. It has to be me.